on this part. We'll have it for the dinner part. Um, welcome, welcome so much, and thank you for coming uh, to the J.D. McGrath Farm, uh, Great Pacific Pumpkin. And our hosts for the evening are Mary and Martin McGrath, and they, they run the Yes, we need to thank them a lot for allowing us to be here in this beautiful place. This is, for many of you, I know you've never been here or seen it, and you just drive down the road and didn't realize there was something so amazing back here. Um, it's got a great history, which I'm sure they'll be happy to share with you. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna have them both talk for a minute about the ranch and what they do. Well, Mary's gonna talk. Martin's gonna just stand there and look pretty. And um, they'll talk about what they do, and then we'll mingle a little bit more, and then we'll be taking you out on a hayride out to the dinner. Um, we're gonna have to divide into about two groups to get out there. Uh, and then, so we'll just kind of say, be patient, you know, have a little more wine or something to drink while you wait for the second shift. And uh, we'll get you all out there. And you're gonna enjoy amazing meal. Chef Tim Kilcoyne has just rocked it, knocked it out of the park tonight. And I think you guys will be very happy. So I'd like to introduce Mary McGrath, and this is her brother, Martin. And again, uh, thank them so much for allowing us to be in this amazing place. Hi, I'm gonna start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming and sharing uh, the ranch with us. Uh, we're looking forward to the dinner that's about to come. Uh, the house was built by A.C. Martin, who also built uh, the city hall on Poli. Uh, Mr. Martin fell in love with a girl that lived in Camarillo, and because of that, he he's from L.A., but he kept taking on more and more jobs up here so he could court this young woman named Margaret Daly. Um, and the house was built in 1908. Uh, the first McGrath family that lived here um, was the Hugo McGrath family. And Hugo McGrath and our grandfather, Joe, built the barn in 1905. And it's a, it's a great barn. An amazing barn. A four. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> anyway, um, so they had lots of kids and everything was great. The saying goes uh, when they had a child, they planted a tree. So we have a couple of those old trees still standing. Uh, then, around the late uh, 1940s, the brothers, the four brothers that were running the McGrath estate, uh, JD McGrath estate farming, uh, decided it was time to split up and it took two years to to parcel off uh, four equal parts. At the time they had three dairies, cattle, uh, walnuts, row crops, workhorses. They had just a menagerie of many, many things, equipment, uh, etc. Uh, after uh, coming to the end of two years, uh, they had it figured out. They got two decks of cards. One deck would uh, would allow them to figure out who would go first in the choices. The second deck uh, was choosing of the um, the four estates. Uh, so we ended up here, the Joe McGrath family. <laughs> so lucky us. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Uh, but there are other houses in the county that he built. Uh, McCormick Ranch, many of you have been there. Uh, he built that house. Uh, Paul Peck, many of you know him, he built that. Um, anyway, there are a few others. Um, so, Martin? Well, we grow lemons and avocados, and uh, we do pumpkins. <laughs> As you see, when you go out to uh, have dinner, you'll see the, amongst some of our pumpkins. And, uh, we had a banner crop this year. I mean, just really beautiful pumpkin. It, it's like 20 year great yield. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, weather was perfect. Everything turned out great. Uh, anyway, so we do the pumpkins and we've grown a lot of other things over the years. Right now we do a lot of uh, strawberries and wheat salad and celery and uh, whole crops and different things. And, uh, we also do weddings here. <laughs> we do. Oh. My daughter, my daughter had hers here, and it was stunning. It was unbelievable. It was so beautiful. We call it McGrath Ranch and Gardens. If you want to look it up on a website. Does anybody live here now? Yes, our mother lives here. 
Does that, that, that means no, you can't go in the house. No, no, no. So, the bathrooms are over there. Stay out of the house. <laughs> She'll take a broom to you. Uh, again, we want to thank Martin and Mary and the McGraths for allowing us um, to take part tonight in this beautiful property, but also their family's history. Um, I'm, I didn't introduce myself. I'm sorry. For those that don't know me, I'm Kat Merrick from Coley Local VC. Um, we'll have an article in the next few days that's going to come out, and it's going to tell the stories of, the, of, of this branch of the McGrath. So we encourage you to read it. It's got some pretty cool history and some great pictures that Mary sent over to us, some pictures that you never will get, will get to see. Um, also, the reason that we do these dinners is we try, you know, we do three a year, and we do them at different ranches and farms throughout Ventura County. And the sole purpose is to highlight the bounty that comes from Ventura County, to highlight all the amazing things that our farmers and our local businesses do. Tonight you'll have local wine by Four Bricks Winery, beer by Poseidon Bruin, Channel Islands Distillery, Chef Tim Kilcoyne. All of these things, Ventura Rentals supplied all the rentals tonight. All of these things come together. <laughs> Bongusto Olive Oil is in the recipe. Local farmers like Petty Ranch, Underwood Farms. You'll see it on the menu, on and on and on. Every single thing was sourced locally and we try to educate our community through a celebration like you'll see tonight of how easy it is to take part and, sh and be local. And in doing so, we give back. If you shift 10% of your spending to local it, when it comes to food, you bring back about $168 million to our local farmers and ranchers. So we want to encourage everybody to help us on our mission. And it really is easy to do and it's fun to do when you really start reading those labels or asking those questions. And tonight we'll walk the tables with our farmers. You'll get to meet them, our winemakers, our brewers. You'll get to meet all of them. Um, I want to thank quickly our sponsors because without them, we wouldn't be able to do these dinners. So I'd like to thank R Rich and Bonnie Atmore Yay. and the Rancho San Buenaventura Bravo. Conservancy Fund. And they Bravo. just got land granted to their, their foundation, their conservancy, um, a big parcel that they're going to be putting in and protecting so that it will stay ranch land, it will stay ag, and it's, it's beautiful. Congratulations, you guys, on that. Um, also, Otto Schimmel and Guardian Memorial, thank you, Otto, for your support from day one. We appreciate it. Um, Heidi Wick comes here from Ventura Rentals. She's another one that just backed me with this idea from day one and has supported me and been amazing support system in her team. Um, Lee Manera, Howling's Tomatoes. Uh, we've got so many great people that really come out and support us, and we want to thank all of them. Edible um, Ojai Ventura County is here, and they've been a great source, too, of promoting a lot that we do for, Vent uh, for Ventura, for Coley Local BC, but also all the things that are going on in Ventura County. So we want to thank you, too, because without all of you, none of this happens. So thank you. Enjoy yourself. We'll, we'll hang out a little bit longer, and then we'll head out on the I have side. a question. A question. <laughs> what about F for Farmers? Well, Mary can answer that one. Well, as a, a farming family and uh, an organization that farms, uh, we are voting F uh, for measures. No, F. I mean F. Sorry, no yes, one measure C. <laughs> That's how we feel. So, and if anybody has any questions about those two, I know it's a pressing thing right now. Measure F and measure C. Feel free to ask. Bonnie and Rich Atmer will be at the Good. table. Also, Mary Wool, um, Martin. Um, many of the farmers know the issue, and you can ask them questions about it, too. And I apologize, too. I forgot one of my great sponsors, which is the Cattlemen's Association, yeah. Ventura County Cattlemen's Association. Yeah. And uh, Rich Atmer is here representing them, too. Bravo. Any questions like that, you can talk to any of these guys, and they are a plethora of information. Do you have another question? One other, where are the other parcels? Where are the other two farms? The other three farms. <laughs> The what? The draft parcels. You divided it into four. got divided into four. Oh. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's a good uh, well, there's a, one ranch was across the river, uh, which is still farmed and owned by the grass. And then uh, further into Oxnard, and then uh, uh, into Gonzales. Gonzales, our uh, grandfather and dad, they moved to Gonzales here. Everybody moved to everybody, one family. Yeah, everybody moved. And I, the word goes that the first of the holidays came around, and when they went to their house and saw, it's like, Eric kind of went, oh. <laughs> you know, but it was all good. They really, they all loved each other. There were about 50 first cousins. So oh, they had a family wow. reunion. How many people were at the family reunion of the, uh, about 550?